Tell me about Armand Gamache. Ah, Monsieur Gamache. Initially, when I, when I first designed him, I came across my notes not that long ago, he was going to be in his mid to late 30s, a man sort of at war with himself, not particularly happy, and maybe in a bad marriage. He might have some kind of addiction, gambling or drugs or alcohol or something, but certainly an unhappy person. Typical of most yeah. detective series. Th th that's absolutely right. Then I thought, good God, here I am. Finally, I get to create man. I am all powerful. Why would I choose to hang around someone so flawed? If I wanted that, I'd go down to the local bar. I don't have to create someone like that. No damaged goods. Yeah, that's right. I want to. I didn't think the books would be published. I wanted them to be. I didn't think they would be. So I thought the only reward I would get, the only pleasure I would get, had to be out of the writing of them. And so, yes, I, I created a village I would choose to live in. I created characters I would choose as friends, because I'm going to hang around them for at least a year, maybe two, writing still life. And then I needed to create a main character whose company I would enjoy as well. So that's what I did. I gave our manga mash all the qualities I admire in a man. As it turns out, it's all the qualities I admire in a human being. Where, was he um, a fictionalized version of your husband? He was, and I was feeling very proud of myself creating this magnificent Chief Inspector Armand Gamache. And over breakfast one morning, I, I looked up and there was Michael. I thought, damn, <laughs> I didn't create him at all. I transcribed the man. He is, he's absolutely inspired by, by Michael.